Hey there, I'm JB and in today's video we're going to spend some time making some smaller assets that can be placed quickly to add detail to the environment. Of course for today it will be a default team style. In the future I will also create something different for other team styles. Now the first thing that I would like to start off with is a light post. Currently the only light post I have is this guy right down here and this doesn't really feel like into the team of medieval in my case. This could be something for a elven kingdom or still a steampunk is but i would like to create something refreshing something made out of wood and copper the first thing that i will be doing is just type in wood and see what the game all has to offer and very important let's check this mark so we don't take stuff that we cannot use which i by accidentally did in the last video I've been using some blocks that I could not be adding into a blueprint. I discovered that in the end, which was basically, I believe if I type it in. No, no type it in. Okay. Uh, called something different then you know it's gonna be handy if i uncheck it again because that wouldn't make a lot of sense yeah so these festive pillars i've been using them in the last video i just replaced them for some different ones but these ones you cannot be using in uh, the stuff so you best just check that one now, all honesty on a stick i have actually never been using this piece so far so i would definitely would like to use this guy as a ground piece and of course it's going to be very nice if we can just add in a couple of detailed things i think this guy would also be a good one to just try to fit it in here i'm just gonna lower it down just like that I think that would be a very nice start. And how about we're gonna grab this one again, just rotate it around and just carefully place it up on top a little bit higher. And just why not place another one on top of it? All right, so after a little while searching for stuff, I actually came to the conclusion it would be nice to just take another one of these and then just made it like this. The only thing that I am going to do is figure out if I can make something down here make it a little bit more you know logic like something that could be inclined which in this case i'm just gonna grab one of these guys and then see if i can just rotate it like a 45 like that like that something like this just make it like a nice corner piece okay the thing that i'm going to be using here is like a horseshoe find these guys all over the place you can dig for it you can trade for them you can find them in chest Maybe certain encounters have them laying onto the floor with just about, right? And then grab this guy and just extend it for a bit. So you have a nice view on like that. You know, I don't think that is too bad at all. And in this case, I'm going to give this a dark color. And then this one, I like to give it a proper color. Now also what I'm going to do here is take musket balls and then just add them in here and there. Give them also a bit of a copper color just to add some, some more detail to it. And there's also something else that I will be adding anyways. And that is if I can add some flags or banners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I'm getting more happy right now. Now we have added some stuff to it. Um, I'm also going to take a little look because the dark brown and copper doesn't 100% feels like matching up too much even though I got like copper in here and some black uh, with the crane it is definitely black and brown uh, I'm, you know I'm just gonna accept maybe let let you see <laughs> let's just make this black right and this ring also black let's just see having a bit of more color into it even though you know black official isn't not the color and let's see if something could be fit in here this is gonna be a bit difficult though maybe something like that could right and then of course at the side which is kind of a theme park like thing to do All right in this case let's start colorizing this now i already had a comment in the last video episode three i believe that i needed to use a little bit more of a darker orangey orange so i'm going to use this one for that and for this one i'm going to use this green i really like that green as a combination of and then all i have to do is just see if these banners look nice it's a little bit hmm you know i think that's because of the colors of the copper and the orange 
All right, so after messing around for a long while, I kind of came to the conclusion that I need to use the orange on different type of deals, maybe like clothing or maybe like a carpet that is laying on the floor or maybe against a wall. Because if you use things that are brown, a little bit copper, the orange is not going to really fit in with that while clothing, the ground, castor walls and that kind of stuff do not have a brown color. So that is going to be my decision for this right now. Just make this also green and I have this, you know, a bit of green accents onto these flag poles. And then this one is not going to have any flags at all. So the next thing that I would like to make uh, is a bench. Got a lot of, well, it's something that I'm kind of missing. There are certain benches like got these guys. And if you type in bench. Uh, in general, I wanted to say, but apparently sometimes I'm not sure what is up with this search. Ah, there we go. So you got the elephant bench, you got the reinforced bench, but there is nothing really, you know, with the backside on it that looks different. So in this case, I would like to create something myself. Now, once again, I do would like to take a little look at the wooden pieces. We also got this one, which is a bit wider. And let me just create the group instant and then let's place my character near it i mean it doesn't look bad for a start right we just going to need to have something to sit on and see if we can actually make it work so it's the only way really how to do it is just take one of these and just you know place two for an example near each other and just see somehow some way if we can make it like fitting and i don't think no, we cannot like, um, I wish you could make it uh, work in this mode for, you know, testing. Because if we're going to, you know, take some bits and pieces that we're going to put through, then you're going to, to test and see if the bench is accessible. This guys, we're just going to, you know, put some of these in here and then move them a bit forwards. And then I can just show you ones you don't know. But it doesn't always work like that. That's all you can do and then just see okay so far this will work and it's actually you know kind of perfect the way it is the only thing i would like to do is see if i can make something on the back try to use different things for different styles and then we just gotta test it once again i do believe from the other side you can also do it but i'm going to use one side right but yeah i think that is kind of an okay height i could still do it a little bit higher i'm just gonna take a look at the elbow joint i believe it's called so i can just raise it a little bit more so you can rest your arm on there if you would like to now i'm looking at it these pieces if we somehow let's take the bigger guy kind of already creating a back now once again we're going to test this because this doesn't always work please work i oh that is just maybe it well let me see here i need to turn this guy off like that and i'm just going to look at this inclined part here to kind of match it up for a bit oh, i mean that kind of does it right and yes the edge is very sharp but <laughs> you gotta deal with what you got you know, I think in general, this isn't too bad at all. It's kind of a nice bench though, almost like sofa. Now on the back, I just would like to see if I can add an extra block. I could just place it like this. I have one near it. Yeah, I don't think that is too bad at all. I would like to add in a silly joke. But I'm going to save this blueprint. I'm going to call it... Mercedes, because you know, Mercedes bench. Ah, that's a real bad one. <laughs> now I'm gonna guess in medieval times they didn't really have trash cans. <laughs> they just dump everything everywhere. Even though it's a lot of like food, maybe lots and wood, maybe a bit piece of metal. Now I do believe I have seen Example of wooden club. This could really add up to funky fence. But I'm not sure if I would like to use this. So I'm just going to test and see what can we do. What can't we do. And let's also place this one around. Yes, then it's going to look kind of the same though. Now I'm thinking of it. 
And also this thing is not very long. Hmm, yeah, here we already get a problem. Like how are we going to make this look correct, I would say. Just want to see how it looks like things being into each other. Repetitive thing, and you're going to need to crap a lot of these clubs in the end. So let me see. Let's first see what we can do. M max it out wise, so it will be kind of like this. Now the only thing that I find a little bit of a shame is, uh, I really hope they're going to add it in someday. Is that you can free place blueprints because right now you're always forced to have it straight on and. You know, sometimes the ground gonna go a little inclined, so you can just, you know, play around with stuff. And of course, what I can always do, if I would like to play around and make like a closed off enclosure, then I can always, you know, mark off the area, bring the, what am I saying? Yeah, market area, right? You mark the area. Just basically like what I've been doing before, trying to create all of these rock patches. Just mark the area, bring it into the editor, and then just, you know, manually uh, place these fences around. So I'm just going to take care that the fences are in here. Alright, so in this case, we got a couple of, like, basic type of deal, light pole fences and benches. Now, there is also something else that I would like to do, and this is something that can easily be overseen. And let me see what the correct one is. Uh, I think it's called boxes then. Yeah, wooden boxes. You know, I got like a dock and sometimes, you know, you can just place these things and rotate these things and whatnot. But sometimes it's handy to just make like a package. So you can just dump it down. You don't have to think about too much. You don't have to repaint stuff. So I'm just going to grab a selection of stuff and things and then, you know, create something. And so in this case, I created another three simple assets to just place around real quick. You know, some crates, stacks. Also, you can use it like these gold pouches because they look like sacks. I think they will fit in very nice. A smaller one and, of course, a little pile of rubble. This is something you can also be making with some glass in it. Some simple dirt and bits of wood and a wooden plank. Just tiny little things, and you can just also combine these things together onto a nice pile. And of course, one more thing that I would also like to create is a well. Now for the well, I'm going to need to do a different approach. Now there are some tools in this game um, which can be used. So for example, you just click on this guy right down here, it's a shapes tool. We can have a cylinder. And the only thing that I find a little bit of shame right away you can create some stuff make it higher you can make powers and whatnot is that you cannot really choose different blocks because it looks like it would take a one by one by one a one by two by one and then one by one by one again right but in this case it uses one type of block i'm not really sure what is up with that and there are of course different other shapes you can do this is something you can play around you can also have like the roof being gone, so if I select, hello, oh yeah, I like that, uh, roof is gonna go off, as you can see, it now opens up on the second floor, and you can take this one off, you know, in fact, you can make like a well with this, you can also have like uh, randomized colors and whatnot, um, all, all that good stuff, but in this case, I would like to just create something myself, so I had a little bit of an idea what I could be doing. I'm not sure if I'm going to uh, have this as a fail or a win. You know, I this looks fine by me. So now I'm just going to select the whole show. Great, I'm just going to rotate this around like this. Plop it on top, then rotate it back like this. And just see, I think this is slash is okay. Now, also, I would like to have a bit of a roof on it. So I'm going to fit some that. I want to make of a rod, right? A round rod. And place it here and randomly place it there. Right, a black color in this case. Grab another one of these. It something like that grab a bucket okay then i'm going to have a rope 
Uh, roping is a little bit of a thing if you, you know, make it like this. So let's see if we can do something about that. Ay, ay, ay. I wish we had like a rolled up piece of rope. Uh, just in case, ugh, it's not going to be good. But what I can be doing, maybe, is use this system right down here, right? So I just have to see where I left my other crane, which I deleted. I'm going to grab a new one, place this out here. And collect a couple of things and delete anything else. I just do this so I don't have to research whatever that is and replace whatever that is because this doesn't need to be that amazing. Now, of course, the one thing that I am going to do is you know, mine something in, in order to make it look a little bit okay. In this case, it doesn't, mm, I'm thinking like a plate, just you know, cover some bits and pieces up. I always love it if you misclick. What if? This is just a crazy what if. Grab that one, thank you. Keep it on grid, rotate it around, maybe kind of fix it. Uh, it's class is thus. Rotation that way and that one. Smart rotation. Sure, you know what? Perfect. You know, it kind of looks like rolled up pieces of rope. Then I would like to take that one piece of rope back. If I can just hide it in here, then you know, just for the sake of things, get it a little bit straight, lower it. You know, this, this, I guess it's kind of not too bad to have it go through. I have it perfect. I, I really like it. Now, I am going to need to see, like, it is very high up, right? So. I do not like that a lot. Now, there are a couple of things that I'm going to do here. Uh, first of all, I am going to delete the bottom layer because it's way too high. Uh, of course, you can also make like uh, like a step up or whatever, call it. Like this would be fine. And then just check it out. Yeah, that, that this is a lot more reasonable also to grab the bucket once it's out or whatever. I am looking for a very tiny slash is a thing that can be added here so you can crank it with both hands. And I'm going to once again take a look at the rod. Maybe this could do, but I'm not all the way happy with that because the size of this guy versus the size of this guy. All right, so the thing that I would like to do right here right now is make a roof on it. Now I'm not going to make a roof of normal bits and pieces. I'm going to make a roof of planks because else it's gonna be like super thick um signs because these guys are just perfect uh which in this case i'm just gonna place one like this and i'm just gonna aim it out slash so is uh like that grab the whole show just grid it up get it off the grid raise it so we have like a nice thickness Okay, and then just uh, create a group with that. And just with the eyeball, try to place it where it's supposed to be. Angle 50, 45, and just see what it's going to be. Because I'm not sure, I guess it's because of bird shit or whatever. Why would you have a roof on it in medieval times if you need water, right? Something tells me this is a little too much, so I'm going to get rid of two of these guys and i would also like to see yeah i maybe the whole key here is just to raise it for a bit it just still feels a little little odd for some reason raise it like like a reasonable height you know that that feels that feels well and so on and so on, there is one last thing that I would like to create, and that is a cookery above the campfire. The reason for that, I like these campfires, you know, they are nice, but they are tiny bit tiny. This case, just make it a little bit bigger, and I'm not sure why, but maybe... <laughs> I wanted to say, let's just remove it, because I'm not going to use it, but I think in general, it, it gives it a little bit changed to have this guy, you know, like in here that's what i'm trying to say here i am going to change this to blanks color all of them yeah that's a nice little pile of what 
Uh, then I'm going to need to have rods. Oh, rods. But, you know, in this case, do not type that in there, please. And, yeah. And I'm going to have like a, a pan or a pot or whatever it's called. Cooker. No. What is the stuff at? Yeah, we have a pan, but what are these other dudes called? Cooker? I'm not sure. A pot? That's a weird name. No, is it? Oh, it is. Cooking pot. Okay. Yeah, then I have this, this guy. <laughs> I have this guy like this. And then above the fire. The thing is, I was thinking about a lot too. Rod has this certain angle already to you know, make it logic on this part here, I wanted to say. But maybe it's not even too bad of an idea though. It is not too crazy of an idea, but I do feel like it is very close up on the fire. Let me just check myself because you, know, you need to steer the soup. And what I can also be doing is just grab all of this and then just now lower it for a bit, make it less a big. I mean, it's not too bad. It's it's very uh, solid. I'm gonna keep the pan kind of metal in color. This one, yeah, a little bit darker. That's nice. Ooh, all of a sudden, oh, something pops up in my mind. Uh, magnifying glass. Yeah, and there you have it. I mean, they can just uh, put this pot incline i'll guess to get soup out of it or whatever they're going to make up i mean i could create something that would make sense uh you have like a cut out here or that to just you know get it off the rod whatever i am going to get this one like that so it looks like it is stuck to that part too yeah but it's not too bad right i am wondering bait right can we have some food in there like this basket food something simple like like what is a goat bait it's the most simple thing you can craft or one off ah of course it sticks through but is, is that really too bad i mean if i would make this metal it's like a basket within a basket right <laughs> you know what that is actually not too bad at all but i've been fixing it i really like that okay and so ladies and gentlemen well what in the world is i that's oh yeah i didn't think about that um keep in mind do not have any goats near your campfire because i am afraid they're going to snack this up and so ladies and gentlemen within a couple hours of time we created a couple of nice little assets to just quickly place around we got a beautiful bench aha uh -huh, it will only you know show the glitchy stuff if you look at it but look at this that's very nice right we got a pole with flax or a light pole with flax we got one without we got two pieces of fences which we can also use you know i think i'm going to show you later on in the series how to make um yeah let's say a closed off enclosure which is on hill we got some storage stuff we have you know some garbage we got a nice well uh, of course you can also choose to add in uh some bits of water in there which i'm probably gonna end up doing before i'm going to put this into blueprint shop and also take another close look at this down here yeah, but it's good to see this stuff up close in game reality to say as you can also see if stuff is glitching out and also do not forget to uh, put stuff as non-pickable which i got a very handy tool for which you can look at this video down here where i explain more about all of this stuff you can also find it at the front page at the editor stuff and onto my discord and of course we got this delicious whatever soup it is down here I'm really loving this so if you guys have some more ideas more tips and tricks then let me know down below in the comment section and then uh, thanks for watching oh man i can't wait to start placing this stuff down actually which will be in the upcoming friday's episode uh, you know i i don't think this is too bad at all actually we really like this right, time to fix this well down here which was some bits and pieces that just needed a little slight itchy bitchy touch make it look perfect and or of course i'm gonna add a little zippy of water in there